Good afternoon, or should I say good evening, Prowlers Nation, and welcome back to another game here on the Prowlers Sports Network as the Port Huron Prowlers take on the Watertown Wolves. My name is Doug Kahn. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you missed last night game, the Watertown Wolves were able to come away with the 5-3 victory. Uh, the three goals, second period, really propelled them. They dominated the second period. Prowlers trying to make it interesting in the third. Just too much to overcome. If you notice, the Prowlers are wearing the ballpark jerseys tonight because this is ballpark night here at McMoran Place. Uh, if you are looking for a familiar number, it might be a little confusing because these are jerseys are from a couple years ago. So the player and players won't match up to the numbers, but it is still the current players of the Prowlers. It is not old Prowlers players. It should be a great game here tonight. Uh, tonight in net for the Prowlers is Corey Simons, and in net for the Wolves is Brendan Col Colgan. The last time these two teams played against each other, and it was Colgan and Simons in net here, it was an epic goalie battle. Colgan had a 41 save shutout, and Simons, in his first game back from injury, was incredible. Only gave up two goals, and he couldn't ask for much more from him in his first game back from injury. So I'd expect another goalie battle tonight. Brandon Colgan leading the league in save percentage, so you know with him in the back of the net, they always have a chance to win. Again, and what, there's a reason why the Wolves are the first place this season. They bring that structure style, and it works for them, and they it's hard to get them out of that structure. For the Prowlers, they will look to get back in the win column. As I mentioned, they lost 5-3 to three last night, and they will look to get back in the win column tonight. Maybe mix up the lines a little bit, see if something changes. Maybe mix up the D pairs a little bit, see if that works. You know, try and change things up. Try and get past the Wolves. Wolves are a good team, but you can beat them. They're not unbeatable. They're, again, they're, they're clearly the first place team, but they're not unbeatable. They're, they have, every team has flaws, so can see it. And the Prowlers are gonna try and exploit that flaws, and holy, hopefully that leads to a victory for them here tonight. Stay with us, we'll be back shortly on the Prowlers pregame, as the board here on Prowlers take on the Watertown Wolves. And we are back here on the Prowlers pregame. Some players to watch out for tonight. I expect the player to do well tonight. Um, but Austin Federley uh, didn't get on the score sheet last night in his return to the Prowlers after his stint in the SBHL. I, I have a feeling he's going to get on the, the scoreboard tonight, either with an assist or a goal. And then for the Wolves, a player to watch out for is Alexander Jamea. He plays on that line with Justin McDonald and puts the puck in the net a lot, really plays well off of McDonald. So he's a player to watch for. If, if you're the Prowlers, who should be interesting, could be an X factor for the Wolves here tonight. And we will be back again shortly on the Prowlers pregame network, pregame, <laughs> on the Prowlers sport network here during pregame. Please stay with us. And we are back. It's just looking at the standings in the FPHL. I'm pretty sure Watertown's all but locked up. The one seed sitting at a 747 save percentage. The next closest team is Columbus with a 615. I'm, I'm safe to assume that Watertown's all but locked up that one seed in the first five. And then we have Columbus River Dragons sitting in second place. They are taking on the last place Delaware Thunder tonight and tomorrow. So big opportunity there for them to separate from Danbury. Danbury is the third place team. So if the playoffs started today, Danbury would be the three seed and they would pick who they play in the first round. Could pick, could pick anyone between us, Binghamton and Carolina. 
I have a suspicion they might pick Carolina. Maybe they think that's a better matchup for them. But it's very interesting who they, who they would pick. I think Port, uh, Port Huron in the playoffs will be a tough matchup for some people. So I'm curious to see who Dan Marino might pick once the playoffs come around. But yeah, as I said, right now Columbus is that second place team. And that is crucial for that bye. They would want to have that bye. They want to get that extra rest and watch who they play. Where it's big, like you, three, yeah, you get to pick who you play, but you're in the first round. And if you're in the first round, you can get eliminated quicker. So you really want to finish up that two seed. So for Columbus tonight, big game against the Delaware Thunder for them. Big opportunity to get some points. And it is the Binghamton Black Bears against the Carolina uh, Thunderbirds, the fourth and fifth place team. So that should be an interesting game that plays taking place in Carolina. Very interesting games we're going to have here tonight. And th this one included Wolves against the Prowlers. Again, Prow Wolves were able to win last night, propelled by a three-goal second period. It should be another interesting game. I'm curious to see how the Prowlers change things up tonight. And the Wolves, you expect them to do much of the same of last night, which they've been doing all year. Please stay with us. We will be back shortly for more on the Prowlers pregame. And we are back on the Prowlers pregame. Just a look ahead at the schedule. We do have this game that is kicking off here, or starting kicking off. Maybe we'll use the terminology of the game getting underway here. In just over 10 minutes. It is the Port here again, Port here on Prowlers getting underway here. 10 minutes tonight, and puck drop should be soon. They're cleaning the ice right now. Tomorrow, we finish up this three game series on Sunday with a six. A three o'clock afternoon matinee hockey to finish up this three-game series against the Watertown Wolves, and then the Prowlers go on the bye again. Get one more week off. After that week off, they have a road trip, their last road trip of the regular season, where they have one game in Carolina and then one game in Columbus, and then the Prowlers finish off the regular season here on April 15th and 16th. The last weekend will be against the Columbus River Dragons here at McMoran Place, and that will finish off the regular season, so that should be an exciting finish to the year. Please stay with us, we'll be back shortly at the Prowlers pregame. And we are back here. As I mentioned that last weekend, 15th and 16th of April, we take on the Watertown Wolves. And when we take on the Watertown Wolves on April 16th, it is the hockey return of Casey Harris. I mentioned earlier yesterday, or yesterday, that we will be having putting out an interview with Casey Harris, a full feature interview, about eight minutes long. He shares a story about why he's getting back into hockey and wants to finish this last game. So keep an eye out on that. That will be on the Prowlers YouTube page on Monday. And again, if you are interested in following the Prowlers, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The more you, you subscribe, the bigger we're able to get the YouTube channel and put out cool videos like the Casey Harris interview. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok to see some of the Prowlers content, doing your favorite thing, and getting ready for the postseason. Please stay with us on the Prowlers pregame as we get finished cleaning up the ice.
just an update, fans. I imagine with them cleaning the ice right now, we're going to get this game started a little bit after 6.05. So I'd say puck drop anywhere between six, around 6.10 would be my guess instead of 6.05. So no rush here, again, as we are getting underway here shortly. They're just finishing cleaning the ice. Then we'll have the pregame intros, the national anthem, and then we will start this game. Again, just right around 6.10 would be my guess is when we get this game started on this underway. And we appreciate everyone who's tuning in tonight as it should be an exciting game against the Prowlers and the Wolves. Please stay with us as we should get underway shortly. Hello fans, welcome back on the Prowlers pregame. It looks like they're just finishing up cleaning the ice. So once they're off the ice, we should get underway here shortly. Get the pregame introductions, national anthem, and then puck drop. We thank everyone for joining us as they are getting the propane set up for those famous Prowlers intros. So please stay with us as we should get underway within the next 10 minutes. And again, thank you for being on the Prowlers Sports Network.
it looks like we are about to get right into our player introductions here shortly. It'll be the refs out on the ice first, followed by the Watertown Wolves and your port here on Prowlers. So get ready for those Prowlers introductions. It's, it's always a cool sight to see with the flames and everything. And they have great pictures that come out of it. So again, get ready for those Prowlers introductions that should happen shortly as you see the lights coming off now before they get ready for the Prowlers intros. And we'll move it back once the intros start.
the referees have now hit the ice, so the Wolves should follow shortly, and then we will have the port here on Prowlers follow them. And then we'll see the, so I imagine Puck Trout to be in the next couple of minutes, so we get going over here as the introdu introductions. Just waiting for the Wolves to come out, and then we'll get those Prowler introductions with the flyer. It's very cool introductions, very aesthetically pleasing. So that should be underway in the next couple of minutes. There seems to be a slight delay here. I don't know what's quite going on, but we should be started here very shortly. We're just waiting for the players to come out, waiting for the Wolves and then the, wol the Prowlers as well. So we should be getting those introdu introductions started within the next couple of set minutes. Here come the Wolves finally. So then that means the Prowlers will follow suit shortly.
And there come the Prowlers after the introductions. And here come the rest of the Prowlers, followed by Corey Simons, as we should get underway here any minute now. We'll have to sing the national anthem, and then we'll get some hockey going. Thank you for that beautiful rendition of the national anthem. And we're about to get underway here with Pock Drop coming in a few seconds. Again, in that tonight is Corey Simons for the Prowlers and Brennan Colgan for the Watertown Wolves. These two had a great goalie battle the last few times, last time these two teams were here. And I expect it to be pretty similar to that again tonight. About to get underway here will be Ross Bartlett to take the face off against Cole McKechnie. Wolves got started early last night with a goal just over a minute into the game. The Prowlers, that's happened both times the Prowlers and Wolves have played here. Wolves got it on the board early. The Prowlers wanted to try and limit that here tonight and maybe get the momentum on their side early in the game. McKechnie, no, this is man with the puck. My apologies. Man shoots glove save there early by Simons. Nice little scoop there, you could say, with the catcher's mitt or the or the first base mitt. The Bartlett take the face off here again in the Prowlers D zone against McKechnie. And McKechnie wins it over to Mann. Pressured here by Merritt, and Merritt's able to get it out, but pinned to the boards by Taylor. Oh, no, that's Shemelka. So check up, my apologies. This is Taylor up ice to McKechnie. McKechnie goes cross ice to Mann. Stays on side. Over to Mafoose. Mafoose shoots glove save there by Simons. Two early saves by Simons. With 30 seconds gone here in the game. Just getting underway. Checker came over to the Bulls bench for a second. I wonder what he was saying. Very interesting. McKechnie against Bartlett again. And Bartlett's able to win it back. Over to Denny. Now out of the zone. That was Brosnan unable to hand the puck. Pressured here by Denny. Denny trying to get it out. Battle on the board for the puck. Mafoose uh, doesn't get it, but Mann does. Mann shoots that wide. And now that was Brown getting to the puck, making his FPHL debut tonight. And Prowler's debut. Let's do the rookie lap. 
to start the game. You see uh, trending in all sports. Now McKechnie shoots right into the belly of Simons, and he'll hold on to that one. So just over a minute into this game, still no score. Simons looking strong here early. Be Graham taking the face off here against McDonald. Just waiting for the line to drop it. And McDonald wins that. But good job by Federley closing off the board. Jamea takes it back. He was our guys to player to watch for the Wolves tonight. Another glove save by Simons as King shot that. It looked like it was going wide, but smart to Simons just to hold on to it just in case. Better to play it safe. Devine having some words with McDonald and Jamea. Harrison on the line with Jamea and McDonald tonight. No King on this line. Mix up there, a little change up there for uh, the Wolves. This is Alex Johnson with it behind the net. Tried to get up to Austin Federley, but that's broken up by Harrison. Now gets it to, this is uh, Foley with the puck. Gets it to Dalton Jay, breaking in, splits the defenders. Dalton Jay shoots, that's broken up by Devine. Good job by Devine with the stick. Jay had a lot of open ice. This is King with the puck. Oh, so King is on the ice, I apologize. I was a little, Harrison, they've mixed up the lines a little bit, it looks like. I don't know what's going on for the Wolves. Now Foley gives it to Jay. Jay goes up high to Dalt Federley. Federley shoots, then that Foley's unable to deflect that in, and now Wolves going on the uh, odd man rush. Harrison joins in. Harrison slows it down, goes wide. Good job by Johnson breaking that up. And now Johnson will try to set something up here for the Prowlers. Goes up to Foley. Foley just dumps that in, and Coachman can't handle it. So Devine will go skate to it, and goes out of ice. But it's taken away by Young. Young skates in. Young shoots it wide, and it goes behind the net. So he has to get to the puck. I thought the goal got dislodged for a second. It, looked, it moved. It has dislodged, and now Colgan is pushing it. So I was right. It did move, and Colgan just wanted to go back off so it could reset. That's 17:39 remaining here in the first period. Still no score. It will be. Hussey to take the face off here against Soilus. As Soilus wins it. Vartianen tries to keep it in. This is Coachman, pass around the corner. This contains Onio. Playing, wasn't play, didn't play last night, is playing tonight for the Wolves. Soilus gets it out of the boards. Soilus tries to move it over. Hill has the puck, passes over to Henning. Henning shoots, glove save there by Colgan. Seventeen twenty-two remaining in the first period. Still no score. So let's hit the face off again against Hussey. Soilus wins it. And now Henning with the look pass back down to Soilus. That's through. Young on the puck. Gets it back to Soilus. But that goes through. And this is Harrison on the puck. Or Robertson, my apologies. And that's chipped by Vartiainen. Coachman playing the puck now. Battling here in the corner. Trying to get the puck loose. Soyuz battling with Coachman. And so is able, Young helps out Soyuz to get it out. Over to Vartiainen. Vartiainen shoots that deflected by uh, Chamelka and kept in by Vartiainen. But now Hussey's able to get that out and we'll move it up ice. And that will be an icing on the Wolves. So got some tired Wolves out there as the Prowlers will change. It looks like uh, LaBelle is not playing tonight for the Wolves, interesting choice, but that, again, first place is pretty much locked up for the Wolves, so maybe they're just trying to get some players fresh, changing some things up, seeing what else might work for them coming down the playoff into the playoffs. Interesting approach. As Port Huron's able to tie, win that tie-up, but Hussey takes it right back. Hussey moving it up ice. This is DiCostantino, moves in, and now Chamelka overskates it, and now Bartlett has Merritt with him. Gets it over to Merritt. Merritt gains the zone, has, has Brazen with him. Merritt drops it off for nobody, and Chamelka takes it. Tries to get it over to McKechnie, but broken up there by Bartlett. And that would have been, I think that would have been offsides. Now call Colgan. Over to Chamelka. Ch so, Lechecka, my apologies. Lechecka goes cross ice to McKechnie. Now Mafus gets it back to McKechnie. Big hit from Willie. Absolutely flat into McKechnie. And now Port Huron tries to get it out of the zone, but McKechnie comes back with it. McKechnie with it now. They're going to move the puck, pressured here by Brad Denny. Puck is loose, and that puck is out of the zone, so we'll just have to reset, and he just dumps it in as Simons will play it. 
Wolves currently out shooting the Prowlers three to one with just over four minutes gone in the period. Turnover here by the Prowlers. But McDonald can't handle the pass from Afus and the Prowlers will clear it. And that will be an icing on the Prowlers. Oh, no, icing called. Interesting call there. I thought that was icing on the Prowlers. Graham gets back. Poor fair check there on Mann. McDonald now with it. McDonald goes cross ice to Mafus, the former Prowler. Mafus dumps that into the corner, but gloved down by Johnson. Johnson loses his foot and just gets it over to Graham. Graham tries to get it out, but that's kept in by King. King goes over to McDonald. This is Mafus. No, that was Divine. My apologies. And Simon with the glove shaves. Glove save, and he'll hold on to that one. 15 12 remaining here. Still no score. It looks like King is playing defense tonight, or they're mixing it up. Harrison or King is playing with Divine tonight on defense. Interesting mix up because it's Shemayev and Harrison on the t on this line tonight. So the Wolves mixing things up again with LaBelle. Looks like he's not playing tonight, getting the night off. So interesting change in the lines for the Wolves. And McDonald wins that, but Divine's not able to handle it, so they got will go all the way out. King now with it. King looking to move it up ice. Tries to get it to McDonald. No, gets it to Harrison. Now this is Jamea. Throws that in the rafts around the boards. Federley gets to the puck. It comes out. This is Divine. Slowing things down. Goes cross ice to King. King back to Divine. Divine moves it off ice to Jamea. Jamea gains the zone. Has McDonald and Harrison with him. Gives it to McDonald. Goes down back down low for Jamea. Jamea behind the net. Broken up there by a second for Young, but gets up to the point to King. King goes cross ice to Divine. Divine shoots it, glove save there by Simons, and then he swats it aside. Graham tried to clear it, unable to do so. Harrison with it, tries to get it down low to McDonald, unable to do so. Puck is loose and goes all the way up to the point to Divine. Next stoppage will be the media timeout, and it's turned over there. Johnson takes it away. Johnson's getting up ice. Good job by Young to stay on. Johnson shoots, scores! Goes for it! He wasn't ready for it! Johnson just goes to coast, and the Prowlers have the 1-0 lead here. I think Hogan was ready for it. Alex Johnson Fires at home, and the Prowlers lead 1-0 here. That'll be an unassisting goal. Johnson just took it coast-to-coast. Coast. Again, I just think Colgan wasn't ready for it. Alex Johnson, great play to take the puck away, then goes coast-to-coast coast and scores and puts the Prowlers up 1-0 here with 14-16 remaining in the first period. Yeah, watching the back, it looks like Colgan just wasn't ready for it, and Johnson fired it through Firefall as goals and back-to-back nights here. Man moving in. Man, shoot, saved there by Simons, pushed aside, gloved down by Young. Soilus moving up ice, tries to get it out, and does. Taylor goes up to Mann. Mann gets, tries to get to McKechnie, just had a reach. Safferini goes up to Soilus, Soilus skating through bit ice, over to Vartianen. Vartianen tries to get it back to Soilus, but he's taken down by Sacheka, no call. I think Soilus wanted an interference call. McKechnie goes up to Taylor. Taylor, back to McKechnie. McKechnie had a goal last night, it was his first star last night, he is dangerous. No, he was a second star, my apologies. And now this is Mafus tries to get it over to McMahon, but broken up there by Henning. Henning, unable to handle the puck, it goes over to Safferdini. Safferdini. Safferdini over to Henning. Henning tries to get it out of the zone. And that's gloved down by uh, Sacheka, breaking up by Soilus. Sacheka over over to Mafus. Mafus tries to get around to Safferdini, but good job by Safferdini using his stick there. Mafus battling with Safferdini. Brazin doesn't know where the puck is, and now Jamayev comes away with it. 13 minutes remaining. Prowlers lead 1 0. Got Col again, looks like Colgan wasn't ready for the shot, and Johnson was able to beat him through the five hole. Merritt tries to get it out of the zone, but Jamayev keeps it in. Jamayev dumps that in with McDonald right in front of the net, but good job by Simon staying strong on that, and he'll hold on to that one for the save. So with 12.53 remaining, the Prowlers lead 1-0. We should be heading to a media timeout right now. And they, yeah, here it is. First media timeout of the period. So with 12.53 remaining, the Prowlers lead 1-0 on the goal by Alex Johnson.
And we are back. If you just missed it, Prowler just got the early goal by Alex Johnson. Great job by Johnson in the D zone to take it away. Then goes coast to coast and beat Colgan five full. It looks like Colgan wasn't ready for it, and Alex Johnson kind of off guard. They will all beat him for the early one nothing goal here for the Prowlers. It will be Bartlett against McDonald, and Bartlett's able to win that face off into the corner. Jamayef battling with uh, Brown, and now this is Rosin with the puck. Tries to get it over to Denny, and Denny just chips that in. King will play the puck. King wraps it around the boards. Tries to get it to, this is De Cansantonio. And now Brown tries to get it up ice. Bartlett can't handle it. Bartlett turns it over. Or no, my apologies, that's Denny. Denny tries to get it over to Bartlett. There's Mary trying to get it over to Denny. Now Jamea breaking in, has De Cansantonio with him. Shoots that just wide. That goes all the way out to King. Keep, King keeps it in. Tries to get it over to McDonald, but that pass was deflected by someone. I couldn't quite tell who. And the Prowlers were able to get it out. Divine now with the puck. Moving it out by ice. And that is an icing on the Wolves. With 12.04 remaining here, Prowlers lead 1 0. It'll be Graham to take the face off here against Hussey, and Graham's able to win it. Oh, it wasn't icing, it was just uh, touched the high stick, I believe. And Johnson tried getting that pass to Jay, but that's broken up by Coachman. Wraps around the boards. This is Jamelko with it, battling with Federley. Good job by Federley on the four check. And Watertown's able to get that out, and Johnson gloves it down. Johnson tries to get it back to Federley, just out of reach. This is Hussey who will jump it in. Federley now on the puck, tries to get it out of the zone, and that goes out of play, and that's going to be a delay of game. No, nope, no delay of game. No, the lines are waving off. It's a no delay of game. I thought it might be delay of game for a second. Grand will take the face off here against Hussey. Graham wins that back. Federley now with the puck. Federley wraps that around the boards. Johnson has it. Johnson looks to get it out of the play. Gloved down by Chimelka, but not able to corral the puck. And then Robertson will just throw that into the corner. Federley now on it. Johnson with the puck. Looks to move it up ice. This is that was a uh, Foley goes cross ice to Jay. Jay shoots, and this time Colgan was ready for it, and he'll hold on to that one with 11:14 remaining. Prowler is changing lines here. It'll be uh, Soyler to take the face off here against McKechnie. Again, Prowler's on the one nothing lead goal scored by Alex Johnson as McKechnie wins that face off back. Taylor gets to the puck. Now Soyla is battling in the corner for it. Comes over to Vartianen. Uh, Pi, this is Henning. Henning shoots. That goes behind the net. And the net got dislodged again. Soyla tried for the wraparound. And the puck got batted in. A little knuckleball on the way through. Uh, Colgan's ready to hold on to that one. So it's the face off again against McKechnie. <laughs> and McKechnie wins that face off again. McKechnie, Taylor wraps that around the boards. This is Mann now moving up ice. Man gets cross I should give him a push on to do so, and they're going to call a penalty here. Uh, I believe on Soilus. They're going to call Soilus for charging. Or no, Young for charging. So the Wolves will go on the fir their power play. That's the first power play of the weekend. Neither team had a power play last night. Nope, nope. The Wolves, the Prowlers had one power play last night. So first power play of the weekend for the Wolves. Let's see what they can do here. Uh, Best power play in the league, so you know it's dangerous anytime they are on the power of play. Grand to take the face off here against McDonald. Uh, McDonald wins that face off, it goes too wide for King. King goes cross ice to Mafoos. Mafoos up to McDonald. McDonald tries to get it back to King and almost a turnover there. Good pressure here by Jay on the four check, and that puck goes out of play. They're calling deflection, so no delay of game. By the way, if the Wolves lose this game, they are uh, about, they are in no danger of losing first place. They are 
Dragons. They are at a 740 safe win percentage right now with the Columbus River Dragons at a 619. So the Wolves pretty much have first place rocked up for the season unless they lose every game the rest of the way and the Wolves and the Dragons win the, every game the rest of the way. But I'm pretty sure the Wolves have the first place first seed locked up. Mafus tries to go into the corner. This is King. Tries to get it back to, no, this is McDonald now. McDonald moving in. He's dangerous. League for MVP front runner. Rats it around the boards. And Graham's able to get that out with a minute 25 left to go here on the power play for the Wolves. Colgan would just leave that for Mafus. Mafus drops it off for King. Minute 14 left to go on the power play. 10 minutes left to go in the first period. Prowlers lead 1 0 on the goal from Alex Johnson. This is McDonald back to King. King goes cross ice to Mafus. Mafus over to King. King goes cross ice, tries to get to Jameev. Jameev got the shot, but couldn't get it all out. Now Jameev back with the puck. 55 seconds to go on the power play. Jameev goes to McDonald. McDonald goes up high to Mafus at the point. Back to McDonald, who takes Mafus' spot. McDonald shoots, saved there by Simons. And Foley is able to get that out. Johnson's getting up ice. He already has one tonight. Let's see what he can do. Johnson's going to touch on his pole again. But this time, Colgan was ready for it. Good job by there, staying strong in his net. Harrison now moving up ice. Harrison tries to pass it into center ice. McDonald being really patient with it. Good job by Simon staying strong in his night. And Johnson will clear it. Great job on the kill here by the Prowlers. 25 seconds left to go in the power play for the Wolves. Mafus now with it. Mafus goes up ice to Harrison. 15 seconds left. This is Mann. Goes over to Devine. 10 seconds left in the kill. Strong kill for the Prowlers. Great scoring opportunity just for Alex Johnson. The second, but good job by Colgan closing off that fire hole. And the power play is over for the Wolves. Great kill there by the Prowlers as Young comes out of the box. Devine skating up ice. Devine tries to get around Safferdini. Devine takes it behind the net. Goes all the way up to the point to Taylor. Taylor keeps that in. Shoots. And someone deflected that, but that goes up and over the goal post. Man now with the puck. Tries to go down low to McKechnie just out of reach. This is Chamelka with it. Up high to Taylor. Taylor, and the puck is just, is just lodged with the goal again, and that goes on top of the net. With 8.23 remaining, the Prowlers lead 1-0, and we head to the second media timeout of the period. And we are back here with 8.23 remaining in the first period. Prowlers have the one nothing lead on the goal from Alex Johnson. Mafus having some words with McKechnie. They're trying to get it underway here. Grand to take the face off here against McKechnie. And McKechnie's able to tie up Graham. And Taylor unable to keep that in. Jay pressuring him. Jay comes away with the puck, tries to get it over to Foley, unable to do so. Mafus now gains his own. Goes cross ice. Tries to get him McKechnie. Broken up there by Graham with the stick. McKechnie goes up high. This is Taylor. Taylor shoots up. That's blocked by Graham. Graham gets it out to Jay. Just out of reach. And Jay will get the puck. Jay tries to get it over to Foley. Unable to do so. Mafus goes cross ice. Tries to get it to Mann. But that's broken up by so Henning. You got a whistle here. And I believe it's offsides on the Prowlers. And it is. So that puck will come out of the zone on the faceoff here. We'll come to center ice. With 7.49 remaining, Prowlers still lead 1-0 here in the first period. Jim McDonald takes the faceoff against Bartlett here. And McKechnie, oh no, McDonald, my apologies, they won that faceoff. King now with it. Tries to get that up to Jameyev and does. Jameyev gains his own, shoots. That's blocked by Williams. Williams had a big hit earlier in this game. Devine goes cross ice to King. King shoots sack. That goes, doesn't get all the way through. I think it hit Jameyev on the leg. 
This is Brazen with it now behind the net. Brazen looking to move up ice. Nice little move to get around. That was Jermea. And now Williams tries to help get it out of the zone. King puts that up to McDonald. McDonald tries to get around Will, uh, Williams. And McDonald tried passing that to Harrison, but unable to connect. Harrison now with it, though. Harrison shoots. That goes off the side of the post. And now Williams closing in on Jamea, battling here for the puck. And that puck gets loose as that's Merritt with the puck trying to get around Devine, unable to do so. Devine, one of the bigger guys in the league. Good job closing off that space against Merritt as Denny broke his stick, so he has to go get a new one. And this is Soilus now with the puck. Moving in, goes to center right. Soilus cutting in, tries to get around Devine. Shoots that, that goes wide. And that goes out of play with 6.40 remaining. The Prowlers still lead 1-0. It'll be Soilus to take the face off here against Hussey. And Hussey's able to win this face off. Coachman tries to get it over to Robertson but goes all the way through to Chamelka. Pressured here by Artiyan and kept in by Federley. Nope, not kept in. They're gonna call off sides. I thought it was kept in. So face off will come right outside of the Prowlers. Oh, zone, it's so take the face off again against Hussey. Hussey's able to win that face off. This is what Hochman tries to get it up ice to Chamelka. Chamelka waits, gains his own as he can Santonio with him. And now Johnson wraps it around the boards. To, this is Coachman battling in the corner. Soyuz comes to help out and takes the puck away. Federley helps get that up to Vartianen. Vartianen tries to get it over to Young, but Robertson gets the puck first. But good job by Young with the stick. Young passes it, broken up there by Hussey. Good opportunity there for Vartianen. Shot by Federley, that goes wide. Battle on the boards for the puck as Coachman pins Vartianen to the boards. Nope, my apologies, that's Young. Federley with the puck at the point. Shoots, save there by Colgan. And now Johnson tries to battle for the puck, and this comes down to Coachman. Good job handling that puck as Federley pressures. Oh, Chamelka, my apologies. And they're going to call a penalty. They're going to call Federley on the hold. Federley knew it right when he did it. Still shaking his head, but can't be doing that. And the Wolves have their second power play opportunity of the period with 5.44 remaining. The Prowlers still lead 1-0. Federley mad at himself. Knew he made a mistake. You can't just grab down a guy like that. He knew it though. You know, he knows that the penalty, no arguing that. So here comes the Wolves power play again. P Prowlers kept him off the score sheet on the first power play opportunity. Let's see if they can do it again. Be grand to take the face off here against McDonald. As McDonald wins that face off back to King. King and Harrison switch spots. King goes back up to Harrison. Harrison shoots, saved there by Simon. Puck comes out to King, he's able to keep it in. Then unable to keep it in, trying to get the cross ice pass to Mafoose. Mafoose dumps that into McDonald. Collision there, McDonald, Jemiah, Tyler, and now turn away here, Graham moving in, and that's blocked by Mafoose, and Graham just throws in front of the net. But sloppy there by the Wolves, leads to a good scoring opportunity for the Prowlers for the second time on the penalty kill. Harrison now slows things down. He gets it to McDonald. Leading scorer in the league, up to Mafus at the point. Mafus shoots, but that goes wide, and Jameev handles the puck. Jameev now battling with Henning. Jay helping out. McDonald trying to get the puck at, keep the puck in. Goes over to Mafus. Mafus shoots, that goes wide. McDonald now with it. Minute 14 left to go in the power play. Strong kill so far here for the Prowlers. 4.53 remaining. Next stoppage will be the next media timeout of the period, and that puck is out of the zone, and the Wolves will have to reset. Cross ice now. This is King. King moving in. And Safferdini tries to take a whack at it. And we'll get it out, but gets it out a second time. Nice swing there for using some of the baseball terms for ballpark night here. Mafus now with it behind the net as the Wolves will change up here their power play unit. Mafus goes up to Devine. Devine skating in. Devine goes back up to Mafus at the point. Mafus goes over cross ice to Man. Man back to Mafus. Mafus shoots. That goes wide. And then rebound goes all the way out to Devine, but Devine puts that wide as well with 30 seconds left to go here on the power play. Mafus at the point, goes over to Devine. Uh, Mafus calling for the one-timer, shot, off the post! Oof, that was a close one. I mean, you know what to say, a post is a goalkeeper's best friend. It definitely wasn't that situation. 
with 15 seconds left to go in the penalty kill for the Prowlers. This is McKechnie now moving up ice. McKechnie gets around uh, that Bartlett. And four seconds left. And the Prowlers are now two for two on the penalty kill as Federley comes out the box. Taylor now with it at the point. Shoots. And Chamelka tried tipping that in, unable to do so. Denny trying to get that puck out. Now this is Bartlett over to Soilis. Soilis isn't where it is. And unable to play out of that puck. Taylor with it. Soilis applying the four check, but chooses not to apply as much pressure. And then Devine tries to get a vice, but that's broken up by Bartlett. Bartlett pressuring uh, McKechnie. This is Mann with the puck. Soilis takes it away. Bartlett unable to get to the puck though. Scramble for the puck now. Bartlett wraps that around the boards and that goes into the corner as Devine will slow things down behind the net. Wolves like doing this to try and set up the play. This helped them last night to get on the goal, so you gotta be careful. Trying to set something up here. Tries to go up ice. This is Harrison. Harrison now skating off ice, getting to the O zone. Has McDonald and Jamea for them. Goes over to McDonald, which is out of reach as Young tries to get back to the puck. This is Lecheka, goes over to King. 2.45 remaining in the period. Prowlers lead 1 0 on the goal from Alex Johnson. This is King for the behind the net. Goes up ice to McDonald. McDonald goes over to Jamea. Jamea shoots. Close save there by Simons. And now gets that out of the zone, so Watertown will have to reset. That puck goes into the corner, and we have a whistle out of play. 2.30 remaining here in the period. The Port here on Prowlers lead 1 0. We'll be back shortly. And we are back for the media timeout. 2.30 left to go here in the period with Prowlers leading 1-0 on the goal from Alex Johnson. Be grand to take the face off here. Grand taking the face off against McKechnie. McKechnie wins it. And now Prochetka wraps that around the boards. This is Foley battling with Mafus and Johnson comes away with it. Gets it up ice to Graham. Graham goes over to Foley. Foley gets it to Jay. Jay breaks in. But on it will get a shot off. Jay wraps that around the boards. Man gets to the puck. And McKechnie unable to handle it as Johnson comes away with it. Johnson just shoots that on target as Cole will push that aside to Slachetka. Slachetka moving up, trying to set something up here. That goes around. Taylor unable to handle it. This is Foley with it now. Foley moving in, but that's broken up by Taylor. And now Mafus with it. Tries to set up a chip and chase play with Mann. Mann moves in. Mann going strong in that, but good job by Johnson and Simons staying strong. And no delay a game call there. With a minute 49 remaining, his Prowlers are trail leading 1 0 again from the goal from Alex Johnson. Donald to take the face off here against Bart. Uh, no, uh, Soilus, my apologies. Oh no, they did call a delay a game. I was wrong, I thought they didn't, but they are calling a delay a game. So that's Federley's second penalty of the game. And they're giving him a delay a game. So Federley, four penalties this minute. And then the, trying to set things, set things up. So again, Another power play for the Wolves. It looked at the Doran calling the delay again, but they are. So this power play will end the period for the Wolves. And so far, Prowl is 0 for 2, or 2 for 2 on the kill. My apologies. Uh, just fixing out the clock as they, real quick here, just got to set things up here. Slight delay here. Just waiting here, and again, once 
minute 49 left to go in the period. So if the Wolves don't score, they will have 10 seconds left. 11 seconds of power play time uh, once the second period gets started here. So you got two minute power play, a minute 49 left to go in the period. So the Wolves are unable to score. They will have 11 seconds of power play time to start the second period. The Soyuz against McDonald on the faceoff. And Soyuz is able to win that faceoff. But Jameyoff gets it back, and McDonald pushes that up to King. King trying to move in. King drops off. Tries to get it across to McDonald. McDonald unable to get the shot off. And that puck behind the net. And Soyuz gets to the puck, and he will clear it out of the play. And that goes all the way around the boards as Colgan will leave it. Or nope, he'll still play it. And now he'll leave it for Mafus with a minute 40 left to go on the power play. A minute 25 left to go here in the second in the first period. Harrison skates in, pressured here by Soyless. Goes up to get that to McDonald, but Bartlett's able to clear it. Good job here on the kill so far. As Colgan leaves that for Mafus. A minute 10 left to go in the period. Mafus now is getting up the ice, drops that for King. King now goes cross ice to McDonald. McDonald skating in. McDonald tries to get in the line, but gets it over to King, and King gains his own. King drops it off for Mafus. Now to McDonald. McDonald down low to Jameyev. Jameyev back up to Mafus. All right, McDonald, my apologies. McDonald shoots, and Harrison got a deflection on that, but Simon's able to hold on to that one. So it goes right into his belly. With 50 seconds left to go here in the period. Wolves out shooting the Prowlers 12 to seven at the moment, but the Prowlers have the lead one nothing. Again, that goal was scored by Alex Johnson. Merritt, take the face off. McDonald wins it. King, moving down low. Switches spots with Harrison. Tries to get cross ice to McDonald, but it goes off a Prowler's foot, but still gets through to McDonald. McDonald goes up high to Mafus at the point. Mafus back over to McDonald. McDonald gets it down low to Jameyev, but Jameyev can't handle it. A little too much on that pass. Pressure by Henning here. Battling behind the net. And then that goes all the way up to the point to McDonald. 30 seconds to go in the period. Mafus and McDonald look to swap spots. King can't handle that pass. And then that goes down low to Jamea behind the net. Jamea up to McDonald in the circle. McDonald shoots. That goes over the bar. And King's able to keep that in. 15 seconds left. King goes over to Mafus. Mafus over to McDonald. McDonald back to Mafus. 10 seconds left. McDonald moving in. McDonald trying to get the shot right into the belly of Simons. And that goes out of play. And then the Prowlers will clear it. And that will do it for the end of the first period. So at the end of one period, the Port Huron Prowlers lead. One to nothing on the goal from Alex Johnson. And when we get back to the second period, the Wolves will have 11 seconds of power play time. Please stay with us on the Prowler Sports Network.
Just a quick intermission update. So as I mentioned, the Prowlers are leading one nothing with the goal by Alex Johnson. And a look around the league right now. The uh, Columbus River Dragons game in Delaware Thunder game has yet to start yet. That should start shortly within the next 10 minutes. And uh, currently at the end of one period, the Carolina Thunderbirds lead the Binghamton Black Bears three to one. And again, just wanted to give you that update. Stay with us as we get underway on the second period here from Port Huron Prowlers taking on the Watertown Wolves.
Hello, fans, and we should. Hello, fans, and we should be getting underway here shortly in the first, in the second period with the Prowlers on the leading one nothing after one. The goal scored by Alex Johnson. Prowlers look to continue their strong play. The Wolves have 11 seconds left of power play time to start the second period, and the players should hit the ice within the next minute or so. Stay with us as we get ready for the second period. And here come out the Watertown Wolves to the ice. The Prowlers should follow shortly. So we should get underway here in the next 30 seconds or so. And get started here in the second period. Again, if you missed it in the first period, Alex Johnson scored the goal. Great play in the D zone to take the puck away. And went coast to coast and beat Brandon Colgan five goal. Brandon Colgan, Brandon Colgan five hole. It just looks like he was not ready for it or just wasn't expecting that, or that shot to go there and Johnson beat him for his second goal of the weekend. And here come the Prowlers led by Corey Simons. And the Prowlers are taking the ice now, so we should get underway here shortly. Graham to take starting on the Graham line starting. Oh, no, I forgot. They're putting 18 seconds left on the power play. It should be 11 seconds left on the power play. Uh, it would just be a quick clock operator error. So it should be 11 seconds left on the power play for the Wolves. Once we get started on here, yep, there it is. 11 seconds left for the Wolves on the power play. Then Federley will come out of the box. It'll be Graham to take the face off against McDonald. <laughs> Graham against McDonald here. There's 11 seconds left in the power play for the Wolves. McDonald wins that back. Devine, she gives it off for King. And that will pretty much do it for the port here on Prowler, for the Wolves power play as Federley comes out of the box. The Prowlers are three for three on the penalty kill so far here tonight. Federley tries to get it to Graham just out of reach. Divine now with the puck. Divine tries to shoot it. Goes goes wide. Harrison keeps it in. Goes down low. This is McDonald with it behind the net. Nice crowd here at McMoran Place tonight for the Prowlers on this Saturday evening game. And we got a whistle here and a hook. And the Prowlers are going right back on the kill. Nope, I'm wrong. It's McDonald with the power play penalty. Rare penalty on him. So the Prowlers will be going on their first power play of the night. So, uh, McDonald, the key penalty killer. Let's see if the Prowlers are able to take advantage of that. Big opportunity here. Again, Prowlers were 0 for 1 on the power play last night. Let's see if they can find the back on that here on this power play opportunity. It's Bartlett, Brazen, Foley, Bartianen, and Suffordini on for this power play. As Bartlett wins that face off, Bartianen goes cross ice to Suffordini. Suffordini goes down low to Foley. Foley. Moving in, tries to get it to Brazen just out of reach, and Devine will try to clear it. And good job by Vartianen pinching to keep that in. Foley goes up to Vartianen. Vartianen back to Foley. No, Bartlett, my apologies. Bartlett goes over to Brazen. Brazen not even put that in, and then Foley with the shot just wide, and he is tripped. So now the Prowlers are going on a 5 three on 3 here with a minute, a minute and a half of 5 on 3 time. Huge opportunity here for the Prowlers to build on their lead. Sloppy here early in the period for the Wolves as Coachman is called on the trip. So it was first, it was uh, first McDonald with the hook, and now Coachman just got called for a trip. Be Foley, Graham, Brazen, Merritt, and Federley on for this power five on three opportunity. So a minute and a half of five on three time 
huge opportunity for the Prowlers as Grant takes the face off here against McKechnie. Uh, no drop yet, a little early. No one's chased though. Just so any, and Graham wins that face off. Foley gives it back to Federley. Federley crosses to Brosnan, right back to Federley. Federley goes down low to Foley. Foley tries to get it across to Graham. Look at Jack going to the body to Divine. He's limping, he looks to be okay though. Goes over to Brosnan, Brosnan shoots, that goes just wide. Had a lot of mustard on that shot. Graham with it behind the net. Graham gets it over to Foley. Or no, that was Merritt, my apologies. A minute 10 left to go here on the five on three. This is Brosnan moving in. Brosnan tries to get it over to Graham Fanton in the pass. Brosnan tries for the right. At home, still scrambling for the net. Puck is still loose, and Colgan finally co uh, covers that one. Good scoring opportunity there for the Prowlers. The minute two left to go on the five on three. Brosnan tried for the wraparound, unable to tuck that home. Graham to take the face off here again. Minute two left to go on five on three. As Graham's able to that face off, Merritt comes in. Merritt, that was Van Fus who went down to the body, try and block that shot as Merritt shoots that off high and over the net. And now the Prowlers will change up their power play unit here. It will be Bartlett, Johnson, Young, Bartianen and Jay now on here. Still McKechnie taking the face off with Mafus and Devine as the penalty killers. 18-19 remaining in the period. 55 seconds left to go here in the five on three for the Powerals. Watertown out shooting 12 to 10. A little delay here as Colgan has to adjust his equipment. And we are ready. As Bartley wins that, but that goes out of play as Simons will touch that and push it aside for Johnson. 50 seconds left to go here on the five on three. Johnson moving up ice. He gains the red line, gets it over to Jay. Chase getting it with a lot of speed. Jay goes, goes to go with five hole. Good job by Colgan. And then Bartlett gets probably got punched in the net and then that gets dislodged. So that puck will come out of play as it was Bartlett who dislodged it. Or that will face off will come just outside of the Prowlers Oh, zone. Colgan looks like he learned from that five hole opportunity. Johnson caught him early, and then Prowlers will try going again. But good job by Colgan, pick, closing off the five hole each time. This is Bartlett taking the face off against McKechnie. 40, 38 seconds left to go on five on three. This is Young now with the puck. And that's out of the zone. Go, Martin goes over to Young, gets it over to Jay. Jay breaks in. Jay, I'm gonna keep that puck in. Now that was Johnson. 24 seconds left to go on five on three. Trying to break in. Ten, 14 seconds left to go on five on three. Bartlett goes up to Johnson. Johnson goes down low to Jay off his skate. Back up to Johnson. Johnson goes over to Martiani. Martiani doesn't get everything on that shot. Second shot just goes wide. Four seconds left of five on three. The five on three is over. 26 seconds left to go of power play time, and then. Uh, that is coach will come out of the box. Jake fans on that shot, and Colgan will cover that one with 20 seconds left to go on the power play or 19. And now McDonald is McDonald penalty is over. Good job on the kill so far here by the Wolves. Grand to take the face off. And Graham's able to win it. Merritt tries to get over the puck, unable to do so. McDonald will wrap that around the boards. And Johnson's not able to keep it in. And that will pretty much do it for the power play. So good job by the Wolves killing off that five on three opportunity. And now each team's the proud will each team's will go back to five on five with 16 minutes remaining, 17 minutes remaining in the period. Johnson goes down low behind the net. Tries to get around Socheka. And this is Merritt. Socheka wraps that around the boards. Foley coming in. He set in play, Foley battling on the boards with McKechnie. And then that was King who just pokes that up to McDonald. That's chipped in by Suffordini. Puck goes back. King goes back to Sushet, that's just out of reach. Merritt with it. Gets it over to Foley. Foley just gets it to Graham off his stick that goes behind the net. This is Foley now with it behind the net. Back to Graham, just out of reach though, goes all the way up to Suffordini. Suffordini shoots. He's nice glove save there by Colgan. 
with 16-20 remaining in the period. Prowlers still lead 1-0, and we're all shot, tied at 12 shots apiece. Peace. Got a little tongue-tied there, my apologies. Be Soilus against Hussey in the face-off here. So again, Soilus Hussey on the face-off. And Soilus is able to win that. Coachman coasts off Young, and this puck wraps around the corners. As Vartiani is able to dig that puck out. Still scrambling for the puck. Vartiani gets a stick to it, and that puck gets out of play, out of the zone. Hussey tried getting that over to Discount San Antonio, unable to get there. Robertson, unable to get that puck in. Young now with it, wraps it around the boards. So this gets to it first. Tries to go back to Young. Coachman closes it off. But he goes behind the net. Robertson gets it over to Discount San Antonio. Just can't. Oh, yeah. Now that's a turnover there. Good job on the forecheck there by Soilis. Battle for the puck, and now Hussey comes away with it. This San Antonio is with him, but he goes over to Chimelka. Chimelka shoots, that is blocked by Penning. Good job using the body. Penning looks fine there, nice block. Young tries to get around Devine, unable to do so. Discount San Antonio and Soilis go into each other. This is Brown now with it, moves it up ice. Tries to get it to Vartiani, that goes off his stick and out of play. With 15-25 remaining in the period, Prowler still lead 1-0. Again, the goal was scored by Alex Johnson in the first period. That was an unassisted goal. Faceoff will be at center ice here. McDonald against Bartlett. And McDonald's able to win that back to Devine. Devine goes cross ice. This is uh, King with it back to Devine. Devine looking to move up ice. Devine looks to gain the zone, goes cross ice. This is Jamea, broken up there by Brown, and now this is Marriott with it. Marriott looking to move up ice. Pressured here by Harrison, but six gets the puck. And now this is Brawson, moves in. Brawson, I think that went off the back of Marriott, and Brawson a little frustrated with himself as that puck goes up and out of play. With 15.02 remaining, next stoppage after this one will be the media timeout. Bart looks at the face off against McDonald. Bartlett wins that face off back. Shot there by Brown. That was a change up there. Gets through, but Colgan pushes it to the side. In front of the net to Brazen. And now this is McDonald. Moves it up ice. This is Harrison. Harrison moving up ice now. Has Jamaev with him, but throws that into the corner as Jamaev will go chase after it. Gets around Denny. Denny tries to get that puck away. Denny. Now Jamaev goes over to Harrison. Harrison gets it up to McDonald. McDonald shoots. Nice glove save by Simons. As McDonald's aiming for that high right corner. And at 14.36 remaining in the second period, Prowler still lead one to nothing. We are back from the media timeout with 14.36 remaining here to go in the second period. The Prowlers lead one to nothing. Both teams at 13 shots apiece. The McDonald's make the face off here against Graham. Graham's able to win that face off. Federley on the puck, looks to move it out of the play. Devine keeps it in, but Jay, good job on the forecheck, takes the puck away. Jay moving in, has fully to his right. Foley can't corral that puck. That's taken down, but lost his footing to no, no trip. McDonald now has Harrison in front of him, gets it over to him. Johnson trying to get around, Harrison trying to get around Johnson. My apologies, Johnson. Turns that puck over to Harrison. Nice four check pressure here from Johnson. Goes it down to Jamea. Harrison does. Federally pressuring Jamea. Federally trying to get the puck away. Now this is McDonald's that tries to get over to Harrison, center ice, but unable to do so, that goes all the way through to Devine. Devine shoots that into the corner and battling for the puck. This is Graham and McDonald battling for the puck. Comes away now is Jamea behind the net. Put into the boards by Federley. Now Johnson with it moving up ice. Johnson has Jay in front of him. Good job staying on sides by Dalton Jay. Johnson tries to get that to Foley. 
just out of reach. And that goes off the boards and out, out. Federley gets the puck, gives it up to Graham. Let's go cross ice, it's King. Over, that goes off of Mafusa's stick, so no ice. Man applying pressure here on the forecheck, if this is a turnover, scramble in front of the net. Good job by Federley getting back to help out Johnson. Bartiainen tries to clear it, scramble for the puck. Johnson has it, that goes up and out of play. And that's turned over here as Federley gets to the puck first and he'll move it up ice, dumps that into the corner. That's a high stick. Or they're not gonna, there it is, yeah, that was a high stick. So the face off, P play will be stopped and we'll have a face off here in the Watertown zone as Sachek uh, touched that with the high stick. Soilers taking the face off here against, can't quite tell, oh, it's McKechnie. And Soilers able to tie him up and McKechnie comes away with it. McKechnie dumps that out of play. And that goes all the way down on target, so no icing as Simons is forced to play the puck. Safardini gives it up to Young. Young gets it out of play to Soilers. Soilers unable to corral that puck, but gets it to Vartiainen. Vartiainen gets around Taylor for a second, but Mafus takes the puck back. And that puck, Vartiainen tries to beat McKechnie to the puck. Unable to do so, McKechnie clears it, and this is Henning now with it. Henning had a nice block earlier in the period. Mafus takes it away from Henning. That goes off Simon's helmet, it looks like. That's a shot from behind the net. This is Henning now, moving up ice. Henning tries to get to Vartiainen. Does unable to do so. That pass is broken up on the way through. Man with it. Goes across the ice. This is uh, Taylor. Up ice to Mafus. Mafus loses the puck. Can't control it. And Sawyer is trying to help out. Now Henning. No, that was Brazen. My apologies. Gets that over to Merritt. And that puck is out of play. 12-13 remaining. Prowlers still lead one to nothing. Both teams will change here. And both shot teams at 13 shots apiece. Bartlett takes the face off here. It's McDonald. McDonald wins it back to Devine. Devine over to King. King playing defense tonight. Usually plays forward with LaBelle getting some rest tonight for the Wolves. King moving up ice. Change the zone. King gets around. Tries to get it to Jamea. But good job on the defense there. And it's Simon with a nice cross save. Great job by Simons. Not quite sure what it is. I think it went up into his sleeve. It did. Good job by Simons there. On the shot from, I believe it was McDonald. McDonald to take the face off here. McDonald wins that back. King now on it. King shoots that. I didn't, did not get all the way through. Jameev gets it back up to King. King shoots that. That one does get through. A good job. Going to his body to block that shot from McDonald. McDonald has his puck. Shot goes wide. Goes all the way out to King. J McDonald battling in front of the net, and that's deflection. May have deflected it wide. Bartlett and McDonald having a net, net front battle, looking to get that edge. And now this is Brown moving up ice. Shoots that behind the net. As Prowlers will change. King with it. Slows it down, tries to get that up to McDonald. But it's Harrison who takes the puck, and now Brown comes back with it. Up to Graham, over to Jay. Jay gains the zone. Jay moving in, shoots, saved there by uh, Colgan. An uh, rebound opportunity for Foley, but he puts it right back into the belly of Colgan. And he'll hold on to that one with a minute 11 12 left to go in the period. As Watertown will change their line. It'll be Hussey taking the face off. As Watertown's able to come away with that puck after the tie up. Uh, no penalty, but fans barking. Federley. And then we got a drop. It's Graham and Discount Antonio. Graham still going at it on the ground. No punches really thrown as this game got physical. You could see that coming from building over from last night. A lot of anger after the game went over. Johnson was barking at some people on the team. So you could expect something to happen here tonight. Graham not fighting as much as earlier in the season, but still willing to drop the gloves when he seems it sees the opportunity to, or he thinks it's a good opportunity to. J 
Johnson having some words with the Wolves players. Robertson pushing him away. Shamelka now with a little late push on Johnson. Still having some words. Face off will be at center ice. We're gonna have to change your battery real quickly, so there's gonna be a quick, 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 quick block out on the screen. And you can see the battery flinking. And we wanna make sure you're able to enjoy the whole game. So we're just change our battery real quick. Don't worry, we're, we're able to keep on. Just change that battery real quick. And see, there we go. We're right back. Soilers take the face off here against McKechnie. Soilers wins the face off. And Johnson tries to wrap that in and does. The kick. Mafus now barking at Johnson. Soilers getting in between. Tussling going on. This game is getting physical. And now Coachman comes in to push Johnson. A Standing between Mafus and Johnson. Those two do not like each other. So Mafus and Johnson still barking at each other. Foley going between them, Federley as well. Someone's gloves came off. It looks like it was Coachman's gloves that came off. Directing Mafus to the bench. It looks like some things are going on. It is Robertson going to the box, and I believe the Prowlers will be going on the power play. Got to get some stuff for, sorted out here. It does look like the Prowlers are going on the power play. Second power play of the night. Nope, nope, there's still a lot of going on, a lot of confusion on the ice there. Robertson is in the box. Oh, yep, the Prowlers are going on the power play. I was right, sorry for the confusion. Uh, so Robertson serving a two minute penalty. I believe it's going to be interference. We Bartlett, Merritt, Sufferdini. Just figuring out the power play here. Just getting the right units on. Mafus still having some words with the refs. Still in this game. Just waiting for this. Is well, Bowie Mafus, the former Prowler. And the Prowler's in the faceoff. Comes over to Johnson. Johnson shoots. Thank you. 
then then you got a really great report. You got Kenny on his word. Chuck Bartlett has the Celtics in the fold. Wow. This game is getting this is getting close. Okay, this guy says it's a lock. I believe it will be four on four. That's my guess. This has gotten crazy here. Now, as I said, they, they even got to the three-point shot. They selected Chuck Bartlett for the call off of Allen. Now it's up to nothing. Eventually, Chuck Tracy and his team will guide you through the tower of defense, through the drama to the mid posting, and now Maroon Guard. And I'm thinking, Kenny and McDonald are thinking up what the heck is going to happen. Just waiting here. So the Prowlers will be on the power play. Still figuring some other things out. Again, Prowlers will be on the power play. They did just score three seconds into the last one. So Prowlers have a power play. Figuring out the rest of the penalty minutes. I don't even win that face off. So, Wolves win it back. This is Dalton Jerry with the puck, moving up ice. Gains his own. Tyler's on the power play. Just scored one earlier. Just up to Fedeli at the point. Fedeli goes over to Safferdini. Safferdini down over to Jay. Jay keeps up with the puck. Nice block by Sachetka. Battling for the puck. Safferdini goes down low. Up to Jay at the point. Jay, Fedeli shoots that. That goes wide. This is. Safferdini down low. This is Merritt with it behind the net. Jay now with it. Jay moving in. Merritt tries to throw in front of the net. Nobody home. Behind the net now is Devine. Jay shoots right into the belly of Colgan and he'll hold on to that one. And the Prowlers will change their power play units here with a minute 14 left to go on the power play. Soyuz to take the face off. Soyuz able to win that face off, but now it's tied up for the puck. Brosnan trying to help out. Unable to get that out. 
And that goes all the way out to the Prowlers. We'll have to reset. Bra this is Denny with it behind the net. Denny looking to set something up. Denny. Moving it up ice. Goes up to Soilis. Soilis goes around McDonald. It's around McKechnie. Soilis moving in. And this is, that was Foley who wraps it around the boards. Brazen with it. Brazen tries to get that to Foley just out of reach. Foley up to Denny. Denny back to Foley. Foley over to Brazen. So into Soilis. Back to Braz Foley. Foley. Switches spots to Soilis. Foley moving in. Tries to get that to Brazen. Taken away by Taylor. 30 seconds left to go in the power play. And that goes down low. And the Prowlers will have one last push on the power play. Next stoppage will be the media timeout. Denny gains the zone. And that's cleared. That should do it for the power play. That's Simons with the puck. This is that was Foley. Bartani moving up ice. Moving up the ice. Now joining the zone. Are they calling the goal from Johnson? But I think Bartlett deflected it either way. Prowlers lead 2 0 and 8.54. Media timeout here. Prowlers lead 2 0 on the power play. The goal from Johnson assisted by Federley. And we're back with just under nine minutes left to go in the period. The Prowlers lead two to nothing. Two goals by Johnson. Merritt taking the face off here. Wins that back. This is Henning who keeps it in. Battle for the puck. Jamea trying to get it out of the zone. Kept in by the Prowlers. Goes over. Devine now with it. Devine moving up ice. Devine gains the zone. Devine moving in. Devine tries to get around Simons. I don't know get that shot on net. And now this is uh, Foley. He's wearing a Portillo jersey, so I keep on saying Portillo's name. I apologize. Uh, this is Jay now. Moves in. Jay, keep moving in. Oh, tries to get that over to Suffernini. Unable to corral that puck and get a shot off. McDonald now moving up ice. Donald, that's Jamea who flips it over. Uh, Foley battling for the puck. Penning tries clearing it. This goes all the way to Devine. Devine keeps it in. It goes over. That shot goes wide. Loose puck. Suffernini clears it into the corner. Merritt start, wraps it around. Harrison with it now. Battling for, nope, Jamea was with it. And now King able to keep that in, goes cross ice to Taylor. Taylor shoots that, Simons with the save. That deflects behind the net. Suffredini tries to get that out, unable to do so. McDonald with it. McDonald shoots, that goes off the side of the net. McDonald still with it. Both, keep, both teams with 15 shots on goal. McDonald, Turles, Simons with a nice save as that was deflected on the way through. And he'll hold on to that one with seven and a half minutes remaining. The Prowlers lead 2 0. Steve McKechnie to take the face off here against Soilus. Refs having some words with the uh, off-ice officials, figuring out when Graham and Viscontonio come off. I believe it will be the next stoppage. They will come out of the box. Seems to be a slight delay. Uh, glass issue, and there will be another delay here. 
Uh, we'll take a quick break uh, as we fix. I believe there's an issue with the glass behind the net, so they'll fix the glass once we get back. We'll keep you on. Uh, stay with us. It does appear they have the stanchion all fixed, so we should be getting back underway here in a matter of seconds. Prowlers lead 2 nothing on two goals from Alex Johnson here tonight. Both teams at 16 shots apiece. So it's the face off here against McKechnie. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the period. Prowlers lead 2 nothing. And McKechnie with that face off. Shot goes right over the bar. A lot of mustard on that shot. That pot does not get through, taken away by Denny. Denny gets it up to Vartiainen. Vartiainen skates in. Vartiainen shoots. That's deflected by Sochekta. And this is Soilis with the puck. Taken away by Mann, or a nice forecheck there by Mann, take it away. This is McKechnie, drops it off for Mann. Mann shoots, that goes wide over the bar. Taylor, he takes a shot, winds up. Hold on to that one. Puck is loose, and it finds its way in the back of the net. Prowlers on to clear it. McKechnie finds a loose puck, fires it past Simons, and now the Prowlers lead 2-1. Again, first shot, Prowlers unable to clear it, and now Watertown gets on the board to cut the lead in half. Lots of time left in this game. Bartlett's take the face off here against McDonald. And we'll do it again, and McDonald gets chased. Jameyev now to take the face off. As Bartlett wins that into the corner, Fedeli goes cross ice to Johnson. Johnson tries to get it to Merritt, but that's taken away by Devine, or broken up by Devine, I should say. Rossley gets it over to Merritt. Merritt skates in, pressured here by Harrison. And then Harrison clears that. Johnson throws that up off the glass. Merritt with the puck, tries to get it over to Bartlett. Fedeli now with it, Fedeli skates in, has, the assist, has an assist here tonight. Fedeli battling on the boards with Devine. Bartlett comes in late. Oh, no, that was McDonald Federley was battling with. My apologies. McDonald goes over to King. Excuse me. This is Bartlett and the puck. No, this is King who clears it. Johnson keeps the puck, just fires that on net, and uh, Col Colgan will just push that aside. Wolves moving up ice, turned over there by the King. Bartlett moving in. Bartlett shoots that, goes wide over the bar. Good scoring opportunity there for the Prowlers. King moving up ice. Gets it up to McDonald. McDonald skates in. McDonald has Harrison over there. Great save by Simons getting over. Harrison's for sure thought he had a goal. Nice job by Simons to close off that opportunity. The score is 2-1 with 6.05 remaining in the period.
face off here. It'll be Soyuz taking the face off against McKechnie. And Soyuz unable to win that. Battle here. Mafus now with it. Mafus moving in. Mafus gets it over. To, that goes off the bar. Man deflects that. Almost led to a goal. Big hit from Henning on Taylor. Shot goes wide by Mafus. Scramble for the puck, and that puck goes out of play. Turn over here. Dalton J moving in. Foley gets over. And then Henning unable to keep that in. Man skating up ice. Tries to get around Seferdini. Five and a half remaining. Seferdini goes cross to Taylor. Taylor shoots. That goes wide off wide. And now turn over here. Seferdini gets it up to Jay. Jay breaks in. Moving in. Can't handle that puck. Sefer Se is saved by Colgan. That's the second time Dalton Jay's been closed off by Colgan. Seferdini keeps that puck in. Goes down low to Foley. Foley shoots. Saved by Colgan. Foley behind the net. Gets taken down. Soyuz keeps that puck. Bats it down. This is Brown, goes over to Soyuz, just out of reach, goes all the way through to Foley. Back to Soyuz, Soyuz goes in front of the net, that goes off of Mafus. And Safardini tries to get to the puck, unable to do so, comes to Mafus. Mafus moving up, loses the puck, pressure here by Brown, turns it over. Has Jay and Young in front of him. Over to Young, Young, moving in, Young shoots, saved there by Colgan. Scramble for the puck behind the net. Young gets to it, goes in front of the net to Denny. Denny fans on that shot attempt. And this goes up to Mafus. Brown is back. Denny coming to join him. Mafus trying to play the puck. Throws it in front to nobody. Bartiana comes away with it as Bartlett skating center ice. Gets it up to Bartlett. Bartlett moves in four and a half remaining. Next stoppage will be the mini timeout. Up to Bartiainen. Can't handle that puck. This is McDonald with it, slowing it down. 420 remaining. Four in the period. That will be in no ice as I think Denny tried playing it. Denny drops it off. For Vartiani, that gets through to Young. Young goes up, trying to connect to Bartlett, just out of reach, so Devine gets, comes away with it. Devine over to King. King up to Mafu, uh, Jamea, and comes away with McDonald. McDonald shoots, that goes wide through the blue. Uh, now Young with it, has Merritt in front of him. Young just dumps that in, and the Prowlers will change as Colgan leaves that for Devine. Devine goes up to King, or over to King. Now King goes up to McDonald. McDonald skates in. Breaking up there by Johnson. Shot goes wide over the net. This is Brosnan with it. Brosnan looks to move it up ice. Tries to get it to Jay, just out of reach. And that wraps around the boards. Simons will play it from behind his net. Federley with it now. Federley goes over to Johnson. 3.30 remaining in the period. Tries to get it up to Jay. Jay beats over there. Has Merritt joining late. Jay passes to Merritt. Merritt can't handle the puck. Gets it over to Just And a great save by Colgan. Keeps it out. Holy moly. And the lead is still 2-1. to one. And now the reverse up ice. Geared out by the Prowlers. Brosnan for sure thought he had one. Great play there to set it up. Great job by Colgan. Keeping the puck out. And Prowlers still lead 2-1. to one. And that puck tries to get through. Deflects. As Hussey will go chase after. But Johnson gets to it first. Off the boards. This is Soyuz with it now. Soyuz skating up ice. Has Bartlett to his left. Soyuz tries to get around Taylor, but loses the puck. And that puck goes, no, it looked like it went into the bench. That hit uh, Henning, who was on the ground. Colgan plays it over to Robertson. Robertson tries to get it up to Chamelka. Chamelka drops it off for Hussey. Moving in, but that's broken up. Bartlett comes away with it. Tries to get around Taylor, unable to do so. As Chamelka comes there with it, 2.20 remaining. So Chetka up to, this is Del Delinia. Delina, my apologies. Henning now behind the net. So is that out of the zone? Nope, tries to, man keeps it in. That's deflected by Delina Lott into the corner. This is Henning with it behind the net. Looking to move up ice. Goes up to Bartlett. Bartlett tries getting it to Soyuz, but that's broken up by McKechnie. Mor uh, sorry, not Moroso. Henning up to Soyless now. Soyless has center ice. Tries to get it up to Foley and does. Foley tries to get it back to Soyless. Soyless throws it into the corner. And this is Taylor with it. Taylor gets that out of zone, but cuts in by Vartiainen. Or no, bad, um, by Vartiainen. Cross ice to Safardini. Safardini looks to move it up ice. Taylor gloves that down. A minute 30 remaining. Drops it off from Mafus. Back to Taylor. Goes down low. What a save by Simon. And sweeps it out of the net. Keep the proud lead at 2-1. to one. The puck taken away by Young. Shot. That goes off the bar. Ooh. We're getting close to another goal here. 
Man, uh, McKechnie comes away with it. Back to Man. Man moving in. Shot that goes over the net. Comes all the way up to Sochetka. He wraps that around the boards. And that goes in center ice. And Sochetka unable to keep it in. So that will force Collars to reset. Turn over here. Merritt's getting in. Has Vartiano to his right. Vartiano with the puck. Can't hold on to it. A little bit behind him. 50 seconds remaining in the period. 2-1. Prowlers. Well, Mafus tries to get it up to somebody. It's just out of reach. Jay now with it. Merritt a little frustrated there. Slamming the door. Mafus now with it. Gives it back to McDonald. 35 seconds. McDonald skates in. Shot saved by Simons. And good pressure here on Foley by the, four, uh, the four check. King now with it. 25 seconds left to go in the period. That goes all the way down. No icing, though. As that takes a weird bounce off the boards. Denny with it behind the net. That's the uh, behind the net. Is it with Denny? He goes up to Jay. 13 seconds left. Prowlers looking for one last push. Throw it into the corner. Foley will be, nope. Colgan will be up to it. Forgot about Colgan there. Colgan plays the puck. Out of play. Five seconds left. McDonald will try for one last rush. Three, two. McDonald shoots in. And that will do it. And at the end of two periods, the Prowlers lead two to one. Some great saves coming from both sides. Each team able to find the back of the net this period. Johnston with the goal for the Prowlers. It was McKechnie for the Wolves. We'll be back. Stay with us for the third and final period.
Hello, fans, and the refs are coming back to the ice, so the players should follow shoot shortly. As we get the underway here in the third and final period with the Prowlers leading two to one. Two goals by Alex Johnson. It's been an exciting game here tonight. And it should be a very exciting conclusion in the final period. As here comes the Wolves. We will get this one started shortly. And follow suit shortly. Uh, I think that's the last wolf. So should Prowler should follow suit shortly. I know they gotta go downstairs to get out of the locker room. So gotta walk down a flight of stairs. But after they walk down that flight of stairs, they should follow suit shortly. Oh, still a couple more wolves. I greatly estimated under <laughs> overestimated how many wolves were. And here comes Corey Simons and the rest of the Prowlers. Uh, for college basketball fans not watching, uh, watching right now, it looks like Villanova Wildcats will be going to the Final Four. They'll be the first team to punch their ticket to the Final Four. Looks like they are about to clinch beat Houston. They're leading by six with 12 seconds remaining and all the way on the free throw line. So it does look like Villanova will be going back to the Final Four for any of those fans interested. At the underway will be Bartlett taking the face off here. Against McKechnie. Just got to get the 20 minutes. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll, folks. Taylor with the puck. Goes up ice. Tries to get a McKechnie. McKechnie can't handle that one. Dumps it into the corner. That wraps around the boards. Taylor with it. Taylor fires it. That deflects wide. Goes behind. This is McKechnie with it battling. And now Denny with it. Moves it up ice to Brazen. Brazen with the reverse hit on Taylor. Taylor loses his footing. Goes down to the ice. Uh, Denny comes back to the buck. Goes over to Brown. Nope. Just goes behind the net. Now it goes over to Brown. Brown up to. Uh, this is uh, Brazen. Brazen has Bar Bartlett over to his right. Bartlett shoots. That goes off the post. Oh, that was a close one. Now this is Mafus moving up ice. Mafus tries to get at that pass to Man. That's broke, taken away by Federley. Federley's getting up ice now. Federley with a lot of open space. Federley shoots. That's pushed aside by Colgan. Federley with a nice pass through the leg. Spare it with the spinorama shot. That goes wide. A lot of open ice here early in the period. Both Prowlers coming close to scoring twice. And that's Foley with it. Tries it over to Johnson. Johnson's the turn over there. Harrison takes it away. Battling. And the puck is out of play. This is Jamea. Turns it over to Federley. Federley moving up ice. Federley gains his own. Federley trying to split the defenders, unable to do so. That puck is behind the net. Jamayev comes away with it. The puck comes loose to Federley. Federley shoots. Doesn't get all the way through. And now Watertown moving up ice. It's King and McDonald. Good job by Jay getting back. That shot goes wide behind the net. That goes all the way up to Harrison, and Harrison can't hold on to it. So the Watertown Wolves will have to reset, and Port Huron will change. Behind the net now with the puck is Devine. Devine looks to move it up ice. And Fowler tries to take it away, but it, no, that's not Fowler. That's Young. Again, sorry. Got us a little confused with the names. That's dumped into the corner. And that's offsides. McDonald is just ahead of the puck. With 17.53 remaining in the final frame of Prowler's lead, 2-1. to one. Puck, Soyuz to take the face off here. And McKechnie's able to win it. And that puck goes all the way down. That will be an icing on the, no, no icing. I thought it was. Battling for the puck. Scrambling for it. Try to get the puck loose. Unable to do so. 
And now this is Hussey. Hussey shoots. That goes wide. This is to, to Co Coachman. Scrambling for the puck. Trying to get to it. That's Brosnan gets to the puck. Tries to get it to Soyuz just out of reach. Puck comes out of play. Bra uh, it's uh, Vartiana gets it over to Suffredini. Suffredini goes up ice. And Brosnan will chase after pressuring Coachman. Moving up ice now. This is, uh, that was Tremelka with the shot. That goes wide. Scrambling for the puck. This is Di Antonio. Had a fight with Graham earlier. Taylor goes cross ice. This is Ochetka. Ochetka shoots. Doesn't get all the way through. Bartlett and Tremelka battling for the puck. Scrambles. Ochetka throws it in front of the net. Shot, shot goes wide. It was Tremelka threw it in the net. Not Ochetka. My apologies. Scramble. Puck is loose. Tremelka goes to get gather the puck. Puck up high. Ochetka goes over to Hussey out of range. Scrambling. Still scrambling. That puck goes all the way around for Sacheka. Sacheka. Now Hussey. Hussey looking to move up ice. Taylor. Shot. Goes, goes wide. And Hussey will gather the puck. Unable to keep it in. And that puck goes over to Taylor. Taylor. Looking to move it up ice. Behind the net. By Puck, scrambles. Oh, it goes in. McKechnie almost had a second, almost deflected in. Good job by Simon staying strong in his net. Taylor, that was down low. That wraps all the way on the board. Trying to go into Mafus, but comes out to Sacheka. And unable to keep that in, so Watertown will have to reset. As Prowlers change of one deep pair. Denny unable to get off. Foley pressuring here. The Puck wraps around the boards. As Simon plays, it takes a weird bounce, but Simon plays that into the corner. Federley behind the net, gets that out, tries to get it out, but kept in by Devine. Devine goes that down to Mafus. Mafus goes twice, twice. What a save by Simons using the splits. And that's Puck down low to Mafus. Mafus tried to get it to, I believe that was McKechnie, unable to do so. Jay skating down ice, and now the Prowlers can complete the change. And now Devine over to King. King gets it out. Moving the puck. Scramble for the puck. Johnson comes away with it. Johnson goes it over to Soylis. Soylis over to Federley. Federley looking to move it up ice. Gains his own a little bit, but taken back away. McDonald moving up ice. Has Harrison with him. Tries to get back to McDonald. Good job by Soylis with the stick. Just break up that pass attempt. Soylis and Young. Oh, no, Federley. Soylis and Federley pushing Harrison to the boards. So always trying to get the puck loose. That wraps on the boards and the net is dislodged. With 14.36 remaining, we get to our first media timeout of the period with the Prowlers leading 2-1. to one. And we are back here with 14.36 remaining. Prowlers still lead 2-1, two, two goals from Alex Johnson. McDonald against Soilis in the faceoff here. And McDonald gets chased. It'll be Jameyev again on the faceoff against Soilis. Soilis wins that into the corner. Federley plays the puck, wraps it around the boards. Uh, this is Harrison, gets it up to King. Back down to Harrison, but unable to handle it. Johnson throws that off the boards and out. As King will get to the puck. And that'll be icing. Johnson does not like that call. And we'll do it over. The 
sort of see the face off here. So it's with the face off back to Johnson. Johnson, a little scramble, goes over to Federley. Federley gets that up and out. Goes high. High fly ball. Still is trying to get around King. That's, that's a little pick play there by King, it looks like. And now this is Devine. Moving up ice. Gets it up to Jamea. Fresh, good job here by Johnson with the stick. Johnson trying to get that loose from Jamea and does. Trying to get it out. Up to Young. That's taken away by McDonald. Johnson gets that out of the zone. Devine, over to McDonald. McDonald, and that puck moves back to McDonald. Throws that into the corner, and Simons will catch that one. You can call that one out if you want to. Kind of the baseball term. Nice pop-up caught by Simon. Face-off will be in the Prowler's D zone. It'll be Bartlett to take the face-off. And Bartlett gets chased, so it'll be Merritt now taking the face off. As Watertown wins that shot, that goes wide. As I think I hit someone on the way. Brawson moving up ice. I don't know who was trying to get that to. And now Coachman looks to move it up ice. This is Jamelka, pressured there by Henning. This is now Safferdini. That's a lot of space on that side. Moving up ice. Safferdini wraps that around the boards. It's behind the net. It's Coachman now with it. Puck goes loose all the way down. Safferdini off the boards. Throws that in. And that's caught by Simons. Has 24 saves right now. And this is up to Merritt. Taken away by Sacheka. Good job getting there. Bringing up the opportunity for Simons. Or Merritt. Good job with the stick by Sacheka. Puck goes down. This is Denny. Goes cross ice to Brown. Brown tries to go across ice to Bartlett. Bartlett doesn't know where it is. Merritt collides with Mann, battling here, looking for the puck. And that gets all the way over to Taylor. Across ice. This is, and that shot is by McKechnie, goes behind the net. Scramble for it. He's got Sonio, goes over to McKechnie, allows to reach. Now Jay comes away with it. Jay moving up ice. Jay tries to get around Taylor. Good job by Taylor there with the stick. And check there. Puck goes behind the net. That's a good save there by Colgan. Throw it on net. What a pass there up to Mafus. Mafus moves in. Saved there by Simons again. A shot saved by, I don't know if that got on target or hit the side of the net. Shot. That goes wide. Scramble for the puck. Now this is Brown with it. Brown looks to move it up ice. Trying to get into the zone. This is Dalton J. Dalton J tries to throw that over to Foley, but it's broken up by Mann. That's dropped off. This is Socheka. Throws that into the corner as Johnson will chase after it. Simons pushes that forward. Soilis goes over to Young. Young gains the zone, has Vartian and Soilis going late. Loses that, but Vartian helps him out. Wraps it around to Soilis. Soilis behind the net. Soilus battling for the puck against Devine. Devine, big guy, takes down Soilus. McDonald throws that up to Mafus. Johnson and Mafus battling for the puck. Now this comes out. Thrown into the corner, taken away by Prowlers. Johnson, he has two goals tonight. Who's up ice? Johnson fires, saved there by Colgan. Big hit on Johnson. And it's in! It's Sarah Soilus with the goal! Sarah Soilus with the goal! Johnson and the proud lead three to one. So it cleans up the rebound. Great job, John Johnson on that. Proud regained two goal lead. So I feel like we're distracted with uh, Johnson behind the play. And now the Prowlers lead three to one. Again, I got distracted behind the play. Didn't see what was going on. Johnson got a big hit behind the play. I did not see what was going on. Soilus buries the rebound and put the Prowlers up three to one. As McDonald wins that face off back. And now McDonald moves in, shoots, saved by Simons. And the Prowlers will be going on the power, oh, the, uh, the Wolves will be going on the power play here as it is uh, Bartlett called for a hook.
So fourth power play opportunity of the night for the Wolves. McDonald taking a face off. Now puck goes to the side. It was just watching back to play. The shot goes wide. Great play by Do uh, Brennan Young to pass it to Solis right in front of the net. And Brett Cyrus Solis buries it to give the Prowlers the three to one lead. Again, the shot was set up by Johnson. So Johnson's third point of the night. Soils with the goal, and the Prowlers now lead three to one. Simon's sitting with 25 saves right now. 10-20 left to go in the period. Scramble for the puck. Phillips this is up to King. Over to Mafus. A minute 15 left to go in the power play. Mafus over to McDonald. McDonald, that shot goes up into the crowd with 10 3 remaining. Prowls will switch up the lines here. Face off right now will be Merritt. Merritt on the move in the face off. Shot by King, pushed aside by Simons. And now Morosa, no, not Foley, up to Merritt. Merritt breaks off, goes out into the corner. This is Jamea. Jemayev, Jemayev moving advice. Jemayev gains his own. Jemayev over to, this is McDonald, tries to go down low to King. King up to McDonald, McDonald keeps it in. Goes over to Jim Mafus. Mafus bats down by Federley. Federley walks it out of play. 9.31 remaining in the period, 41 seconds left to go on the power play, and we head to our second media timeout. We'll be back shortly. Prowlers lead 3 1. Cyber Soilers with the last goal. We are back here. And Simon's with a quick cover. So it's off again. Wolves still on the power play. Right behind the net. Battle for the puck. And now behind the net, Federley, that puck is loose. 20 seconds left to go on the power play. Up to Mafus, down to McDonald. McDonald moving in, tries to get it over to uh, King. King can't get all that shot off. Federley tries to break that up and does. Federley brings down King, wraps all the way around and out, and that will do it for the power play. Please no cursing in our chat. There are children watching this game. No reason to watch you guys curse. And almost a shorthanded opportunity for Jay. I got distracted behind the net for uh, Federley. Colgan leaves it all for Mafus. This is Divine with it behind the net. Divine looking to play the puck up ice. Up to McKechnie. McKechnie moves in. Scramble for the puck. Battling along the boards. 8.20 left to go in the period. Prowlers lead 3 1. Sour Soils with the last goal for the Prowlers.
Gets that out of the play. Soros deflects that to no icing. Scramble for the puck. McDonald goes to chase after it. Play for the puck. Battle in the corner. Young gets that up and out. That will go all the way down, but Colgan plays it to no ice. Prowlers lead, three to one, seven and a half minutes remaining, and that will be an icing on the Wolves. And that puck. One face off is won by Watertown and it's McDonald. Seven and a half remaining. Three one Prowlers. Watertown gains the zone. This is Jamea. Jamea. And that puck goes all the way out to Taylor. Taylor. Off the board. Jamea. Into the corner. Suffordini plays the puck. Suffordini moves it up by Sue Bartlett. Off his skate. It comes out to Jamea. McDonald with it. But good job by closing him off his merit. And that puck goes out of play. Bartlett to chase after it. Well, beat, nope, Taylor beats him to it. Taylor now playing the puck. This is Suffordini with the shot. Suffordini put a lot on that shot. And that's hold on to. With 6.54 remaining, Prowlers lead Graham to take the face off here against McKechnie. And McKechnie wins that face off. Puck, Johnson moves it up ice. Trying to move. Jay breaks it up. Scramble for the puck. Comes up to man. Six and a half remaining. Scramble for the puck. This is McKechnie with it. Wraps it around the board. 627 remaining. Four here on still lead. Three to one. Battle behind the net. McKechnie loses his footing. Comes out to Graham. Graham tries to get it up and out. Unable to do so. Kept in by Devine. McKechnie down low. Shot saved by Simon. 614 remaining. Battle for the puck. Federley with it now. Federley looks to move it up ice. Federley tries to get that to Johnson. Into the corner. Federley going at five and a half minutes remaining. Moving up ice. Federley fires that on target, and then Colgan will push that up and out of play. Again, 5.49 remaining. Prowlers lead. Three to one, goals by two goals by Jonathan, one by Soilus. Alex Jonathan, three points tonight here. Jamea just had a reach, and then Denny presses it back in. Scramble for the puck. This is McDonald with a shot saved by Simon that goes behind the net. Young tries to get that up and out, unable to do so. Goes over. This is Taylor. And that's uh, going to call that glove down. Right. And 5.30 remaining, 3-1, Prowlers. And McDonald wins that faceoff back. There's a check. Uh, and turns it over. Bartlett moving up ice. 5.25 remaining, tries to gain the zone. Bartlett loses that puck and McDonald comes away with it. This is up to Jamea. Jamea 
Uh, Denny keeps that away. 5.15 remaining. Prowlers lead 3-1. Looking at their first one of the season over the Watertown Wolves. Cross ice to Taylor. Taylor. There was that down low. Behind the net. This is Taylor with it. Taylor shoots. Saved by Simons. Cross channel for the puck. Moving it. This is more. That was uh, Rob, uh, Brazen with the puck. Excuse me. Puck in the middle of the ice. McDonald now with it. Next stop, it will be the final mini timeout of the game. And that turned over there. Foley with a lot of space. Gaining has Graham to his right. Foley moving in, tries to get that to Graham. Graham deflects that. And that's covered by Colgan. And with 4.35 remaining, we head to our last media timeout at the Port Huron Prowlers, leading 3-1 to one over the Watertown Wolves. All right, Prowlers, 3-1, 4.35 remaining. Looking to win the first win over the season against the Prowlers in the faceoff. This is King with it. And behind the net. And that's an icing on the Wolves. We got four and a half minutes left. Scramble for the puck. Graham wins the face off. Over to Foley. Penning wraps it around the boards. Graham battling for the puck. Graham gets it over, tries to get over to uh, Jay, unable to do so. That's broken up. This is King with the puck. Moves it up to Mann. Trying to get out of the zone and does. This is Safardini with it behind the play. Moves it up to Graham. Graham goes cross ice to Jay. Jay can't handle the puck. Gets it up. This is Foley now with it. Foley moving in. Four minutes left. Foley moves in. Almost an amazing goal. Just pushes it wide. McKechnie now moving up ice. McKechnie gains the zone. Four check there by Soilus. Battling with Seferdini. It looks like Seferdini might have caught that in the face, but no high stick call. That's taken away by Mann. Soilus battling behind the play. Talking to the refs. Soilus still talking with McKechnie. Doesn't like what's going on there. This is Jay. Gets it over to Foley. And now. Watertown, looking to move it up ice. Battling for the puck. Watertown goes over. This is battling for the puck. Turn up, these Constantino moving up ice now. He gains the zone, three and a half, 320 remaining. Big hit! Federley absolutely levels them and looks to be a little okay, let's look it up. Great job by Federley taking him out. This game is getting physical, folks. Well, it's been physical, staying chippy. Johnson moving up ice, looking for his hat trick. Goes over to, this is, Young with the puck, shot, Johnson moves it in front of the net. Tries to get it to Vartian and just out of reach. This Constantonia moving it. Pressured here by Bartlett. And that's turned over. Robertson now with it, gets it up, tries to get it out of the zone, but that's kept in by Bartlett. Vartian and pitch the board by this Constantonio. Moving up, this is Hasi with the puck, 245 remaining. I expect them to, uh, Watertown to pull the goalie uh, next 45 seconds or so. That pass is just out of reach. This is. Colgan playing the puck. Moving the puck. Up ice. And that deflects wide. Harrison plays the puck with that, uh, I believe, Brown got to it first. Behind the net, Denny. Brown with the puck. This is McDonald. Shot, that goes wide off the side of the net. And the net is pulled, six men on ice for the Wolves. Scramble for the puck. Harrison can't handle it. Denny gets to the puck. Denny looks to move out of play. 28 saves for Corey Simons. He's been incredible in net tonight. Shot, Shvetka. That goes off his Harrison's stick. Denny now with it. Looks to get it out of play. 
Kept in. That is McDonald pressuring down low. Tries to get out of the zone. Good job by Brosnan. No, it's the Checker fans in that shot. That is offside. A minute 47 remaining. Prowlers lead 3 1. Oh, that was close. Face off here. Bartlett on him with it. McDonald wins that face off back. It's Colgan goes back into the net, waiting for uh, the Watertown Wolves to possess it. They do possess the puck. Throws that into the corner. Oops. Cutting beats. Uh, that is Jamea to the puck. Jamea tries to throw it out, but that's Taylor who keeps it in. Taylor wraps that around the boards. Behind the plate. That's his. That was Mafus. Throws it up to Taylor. Over to Harrison. Harrison shoots. Doesn't get all the way through. Trying to get the puck out. Scramble for the puck. Goes back up to Taylor. Taylor the puck. Puck is loose. This is Harrison, throws it in front of the net. Simon's great job in net, keeping it out. Great defense too by Prowlers. Simon still keeps it out, and he will cover it. Great job by Simon's, great job by the Prowlers defense. And it's still 3-1. Minute 10 remaining. What an exciting finish in this game we'll have. Prowlers deep, lying strong. Simon's looking great in his net. I believe it will be Graham taking the face out. Soilers is on, one of the better defensive forwards for the Prowlers. So it's Graham Soilers, Merritt, the Sufferdini, and Henning. McDonald taking the face off. The net is empty for the Wolves. McDonald wins that back. This is Devine. Goes over to Harrison. Harrison shoots. Goes over to Jamea. Jamea puts that wide. And now Soilers. Soilers just tries to empty for the empty net. That is going just wide. Soilers just misses the empty net. With a minute remaining, 58.2 seconds remaining to be exact. Soyuz trying to go for the empty net, just misses it. That would have been a second of night, and that would have been the icing on the cake for the Prowlers here. Corey Simon to 30 saves now. And Graham wins that face off. Suffredini gets it out. Well, Soyuz beat down Divine. Soyuz pushing him. Soyuz unable to beat Divine. Divine pushes him off. This is Jamea, throws it to. That's Harrison, 45 seconds left. Harrison, up to Hen Henning, breaks that up. Graham unable to get it out. Harrison keeps it in. Harrison. Harrison, up to Taylor. Taylor, Jamea. Jamea battling with the Suffredini. Suffredini pushes him against the boards. Graham gets a stick to it. Harrison, up to Devine. Back to Harrison. Still playing with the puck. Does it down low to Mafus. Battling behind the net. Breaking up, 20, 15 seconds left. Scramble for the puck. Gets that up and out. Graham will clear it. That will not, will that go down for an icing? It will go down for an icing. Eight seconds left. It looks like the Prowlers will win this one. Knock on wood. That would be the Prowlers' first win against the Wolves this year. Huge win going into playoffs, huge win of confidence. Corey Simons was an incredible in net tonight. 30 saves. Corey Simons has been great since the return from injury and has provided a huge boost to the, uh, the Prowlers. Graham wins that face off. So Ferdini gets it down to so Soilus. It's going, it's going, and that will do it. The Prowlers win 3-1. The first one over the Wolves season. Simons is brilliant in net. Congrats to the Prowlers. Stay with us for the three stars of the game.
Now time for the next three star selection. The first star 19 with 30 saves. Both letter number three. the first star. The second star 19 with the game winning goal. Number 72, Stephon Silas. Not the game winning goal. First star 19 with one goal and two assists. Number 25, Alex Johnson! Thank you, Prowlers Nation. We'll be back tomorrow night, 305 Puck Drop. Thank you and good